Hello everyone, this is RPG Fan here, and welcome back to Big Pharma. Sorry about the delay in recording stuff lately. Uh, I've been doing a little bit of E3 coverage for uh, my blog spot for the uh, YouTube channel that this actually shows up on. Uh, you can go to pixelloadout.blogspot.com and check out this video as well as a bunch of others that are uh, done by me and my friends. Uh, we also have a podcast on there that we record from the radio station at the college we attend. So you can check that out too. we got a large archive of that podcast if you want to check it out. Uh, but anyways, let's go ahead and get down to brass tacks here. We've got quite a little bit to do. Uh, I'm thinking about uh, going ahead and importing another thing of this ingredient that has the Sue's cold symptoms because I realized that I can get rid of the cause of fatigue and still have just Sue's cold symptoms instead of in accidentally making this antibiotic. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, but I'm going to need more factory space to do Ooh, actually no I'm not, I just realized I got this little area down here. So we'll go ahead and import more of that. Then we will go to our basics and get the agglomerator, which I finally figured out how to pronounce correctly, and put that there. It'll come out of the agglomerator, once I put a belt down between them, of course. And then I'm going to need two more pill printers. Also, I noticed a problem where I was having uh, needing a pop filter really bad and didn't realize it before. Uh, so that's something I'm going to have to figure out. All right now I've got the mic angled a bit, so hopefully the uh, quality of the sound hasn't been hurt by that. Right, go ahead and do this and that, and then that here to export and that should give me exactly what I need. Let's see. There we are, there's our first pill. Boom! A great Sue's cold symptom. It's gonna be better than the last one I had, which will be nice. And let's see, I think I'll call this a Pharmacon Cold Terminator. Sniffle Stomper, that's pretty good actually. <laughs> cold Terminator. So hopefully that'll do well, and go ahead and name that, and start sending it out. Also, just a little update, they're doing the ache away, so they're using the pain uh, medication and stuff that I discovered last time around. Uh, let's see, and we're also going to get rid of the cold be gone because it's not as good as what we were using, I don't want to make any more of it. We will, however, let's go check out some other things. Ooh, we got re three research points going on, so that's nice. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and start researching the ionizer, and I'm going to upgrade the evaporator, and the agglomerator, no, the pill printer, again, uh, to help reduce some costs. I'm also going to go over here and upgrade this stuff, since we're importing so much of it, then we might as well reduce the cost as much as we can. Uh, I'm also going to go ahead and send an explorer out to find a new ingredient. Uh, actually, I can't. I need more explorers if I'm going to do that. Uh, so let's go ahead and hire another explorer and send them to go find the dragon beetle. <laughs> the legendary dragon beetle. Uh, also, I've got two more points, and since I'm ex importing a lot of this stuff, I'll go ahead and upgrade it again to get even more of a discount to, of course, up my profit margins, because that's what this game's all about. Uh, let's see, how is my antibiotic doing? Let's reduce the objectives there. Uh, 95% net demand, I'm 47% saturating the market. We just don't want to let that get up to 100% or higher because then it's a problem and our profit margin will start to drop quickly. And no one has been permanently cured of the things that need antibiotics, which only makes sense, of course. Uh, for my cold symptoms, 95% uh, net demand, 38% saturation, we're doing alright in that. Hypertension, uh, two people cur uh completely kill, cured of hypertension. Two of them from my competition, one by me. Oh, and it went away. Never mind. Man, they are exporting way more of that stuff than I am. Uh, and that's matter of percent my saturation is at 88%. Oh, that's a combination of mine and his saturation. I didn't realize that. That's problematic. Hmm. 
I'm gonna have to make my hypertension stuff better if I'm going to compete with him on that. And I'm not doing a painkiller yet, but I should start doing that before he saturates the market too much. So let's get back to the production line. Uh, let's see how we're doing so far. We are ahead of the curve on earning profit, but we can do better. Uh, let's see. What can I do to my hypertension? Mmm. Is there any weight now? You can't remove that. Hmm. I could remove it if I research the right thing. Uh, which would be the, uh, I need the multi-mixer and possibly the shaker as well. So that I could have, uh, combine two different drugs and have one of them overlap that nasty side effect that's in the hypertension stuff. That may be a little bit much for now, since I don't really need to do it at the moment. What I do need, however, is more space, because as you can see, I'm taking up all but one of my import-export hatches. So I'm going to go ahead and buy a new area here, and I might buy this one as well soon, but we'll see first. Uh, how long until they discover that ingredient? They're just under halfway done. Uh, how about the research? It's a little over halfway done, so that's good. Alright. Hmm. <sighs> this is a very in-depth game so far. I'm actually really impressed with it. I'm hoping that they'll keep doing it. So the Praying Killer... See, they've gotten rid of the side effects. Oh, no, they haven't gotten rid of it. But they're doing better than I am with it for some reason. I'm not sure why. It's worth the same. It's got the same grade. I'm not sure how to make mine better to start kicking their rear ends in profit. Hmm. Alright, well, let's see what we've got here. Operating profit. We're at 44% operating margin. Yeah, yeah, we're doing, we're doing good. We're doing good. We are making a profit, and that's really the most important thing. I am going to need to make another product, though, before too much longer. Uh, let's get that pain medication going. Let's take a look at it. Okay, so it increases blood pressure. You can't remove that. You can only deactivate it. Uh, it also could possibly cause constipation, but that can be removed. And you can make it ease migraines with an evaporator if it's from 7 to 10. But you can It starts at 13, so I can remove the cause constipation instantaneously with an evaporator, which is a good idea. Um... And then try to reduce the blood pressure as much as possible. The only problem is I don't know where it would be on that. And it looks like my research is done. Uh, eventually I'll get this thing called an analyzer, which will allow me to see like where on this bar it's at its strong, the side effects that it's strong is at. And so the further away you get from the, it being stronger, the weaker it is and the more uh, people can deal with it. And for cures, the closer you get to it being strongest, the uh, better, obviously, the effect will be, and so you'll be able to make more money off of that. So what I'm going to end up having to do is eventually get that analyzer. And since I did just finish that research, I might... Oh, gosh, there's a lot to do for the analyzer. And I'm going to have to hire another scientist. Alright, well, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, for the time being, let's just do a simple pain relief medication. Uh, so, I'm going to import it, I'm going to immediately put it through an evaporator. I need a, not auxiliary, basic, an evaporator. And I'll put it there. Looks like a good spot. Belt, put that there. Make sure it's working correctly. Good. Causing constipation is gone. The painkiller is not yet activated, though. I'm going to have to reduce the concentration at least two more times. And I'm not sure if doing it even more would put me too cro close to the increase of blood pressure being at its full amount, but I'm willing to take that chance right now. So we'll go ahead and get the... Uh, ionizer 
no, excuse me, the agglomerator, of course, the thing I use for everything. And I'm really glad that I upgraded the agglomerator because, man, I'm using a lot of stuff from that. And a belt. Put that there. Now, let's see what that puts this at. Oh, that was the wrong way. I'm an idiot. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, I need the ionizer that I just researched. Let's try that again. There we go. Now it's actually activated. I'm thinking I'm going to push it... Let's see. If I push it one, two, three... If I push it four more that way, I'll have the blood pressure gone. What's this? Oh, discovered that new ingredient. Yay! Oh, wow, that's... That ingredient looks horrible. Ah, but it's got a catalyst. That's why it's useful. And it's an antidepressant, which is known to have quite a large number of side effects. So that makes sense. Uh, can I go ahead and send them somewhere else? No, not right now. Uh, let's get back to what we were doing here. I'm gonna go ahead and... Let's see, one, two, three, four to completely get rid of that. I have to the same thing the ionizer does, which is decrease concentration. I think I have to decrease the concentration by four, which will be one more ionizer and a uh, dissolver. Yes. So we get one more ionizer. Uh oh. Okay, that'll be fine now. One more ionizer. Dissolver. And then the belts to hook it up. Boom and boom. Then I will of course need my pill makers. Let's just make sure that it actually comes through here at the proper concentration that we want it. Yes, perfect. Okay. Uh, so then I'm gonna need two pill makers, two pill printers. Excuse me. And they'll come out there. So I want, I think, in one here and one here. And then... There we go! Alright. Oh, good painkiller with no side effect. Current profit minus one, of course. Alright, let's wait for that to go through. My only worry is that it's not going to be profitable enough by sending it through so many machines. Alright, uh, okay, completed that research, let's go ahead and do that. Need the analyzer next, which is only going to take one guy, good, good. Are there any more that only takes one that I can do right now? No, not right now, that's fine. Uh, I'm not going to, I already said I wasn't going to do the ingredient, and now we get... Rashes. I don't have any antihistamines or rash relief, nor do I have the uh, creamer yet, so I can't make skin cream. So we're just not going to be able to take advantage of that random event. Uh, but now we got our painkiller, so Pharmacon Ache Punisher sounds wonderful. I will keep that. Alright, so let's go ahead and play and see what happens to a profit now. On our way back up, speed things along. Yeah, there we go. There's where we were, and we're rising. Hmm. Not sure how well this is gonna go. Yeah, the profit's fluctuating around about 110, 112. Oh, and it's going up a little bit. Let's go ahead and check our in the company panel. Uh, the painkiller we're making is grade C. R. <laughs> Cold Terminator somehow is a D minus. How did that happen? I probably need to increase the concentration one time to get it to a fuller strength, probably. Uh, current profit negative two? That's not good. Oh, uh, see, here, here's exactly the problem that I was worried about. Uh, because while the Ache Punisher is good, it's, it's pretty good, it's problematic in that it's basically a loss leader in, in a way uh, I'm losing money making it not much but enough and it's that's very problematic so I'm gonna have to reduce the amount of machinery I use with it 
Or, actually, what I can do is go to the ionizer and upgrade it so that it doesn't cost as much to run. Uh, and I'm going to want to get some more of these research upgrade points, so I'm going to leave them idle for the time being. Uh, let's look at our ingredients. i got five research upgrade points there, so I'm going to go ahead and upgrade the pain reliever twice. Uh, I'm also going to go ahead and upgrade this once, uh, and that'll help increase my profit margins by a good bit, I'm sure. Uh, once that, that'll probably show me that it's increased the profit margins just a little bit. Uh, it looks like my profit margins are going up. Yeah, there we go. Much better. Uh, well, it's going to fluctuate. That's just how it goes. The market, you know. <laughs> uh. All right, though. However, I think that's good for the time being. I'm going to have to fill around with this just a little bit to see if I can help uh, with the profit margin a little bit better because this isn't as successful as I would like it to be. Which is something you have to deal with as a pharmaceutical company. There we go. Uh, anyways, though, I hope you all have enjoyed so far. You can get Big Pharma if you go to BigPharmaGame.com. Uh, feel free to check that out. It's in a beta state right now, but they're doing upgrades all the time. I pretty much have to get an upgrade every time I pull this out. ADHD helper? What? Crazy. Making Ritalin over here. Cheer and larger. That's probably their antidepressant. Uh, but yeah. Oh, damn it. Oh, the rashes are gone. That's fine. But anyways, let's go ahead and pause this so nothing else happens. And this has been RPG Fan here, aka Trey. I hope you all enjoyed so far, and I will see you all next time.